All right, afternoon. Um, excuse the no or the the voice. I got a I got a cold, so summertime cold. Uh, but uh, a quick video for you guys. Um, didn't do anything special this time to get the the uh, monitor to show up in the new uh, Alienware control center. So I'll show you what I got and. Uh, Hopefully you guys don't change it. I know you guys wanted to make it where non-Alienware PC owners could run your, uh, you know, your keyboards and monitors, which I think they can. Uh, looks like you've already done that, but it's still um, the option is still there for the Alienware guys to um, to do the adjustment for the lights in uh, the control center, uh, like we originally had before you guys updated the software. So. <clears throat> I'll show you the uh, the two uh, things um, and my setup. Nothing special. I've seen you know tons of people with the same things that I have. The only thing that I did do different, and I kind of googled this, and it was something I came across trying to figure out what was going on, is an individual mentioned plugging in the, um, the pass through. I guess it's a pass through cable. It's just a, an extra cable that plugs into the monitor that you plug via USB and I think it uses that to power, uh, you know, to kind of give extra power to the, the ports on the bottom of the monitor to charge stuff. I don't know. And I do have a graphics amplifier, but I don't have a card in it. I just use it for a docking station essentially right now. Uh, I'll eventually put a 1080 in it when they stop being ridiculously overpriced. But anyways, so that was the only thing I did yesterday in it. Uh, is what made it work. Uh, so let me show you what I got and I'll just kind of hurry this up uh, for you guys. Let me flip this around, stand by. Alright, so I kind of got the, this is the new uh, control center. This is kind of the old, you know, the way we had. And I was actually shocked. <coughs> The monitor actually came up in, in here again today. Uh, I did it yesterday, but I was using like an old version. This is this is the 20 or 23 August uh, software. Um, and it actually showed the monitor. Now the mouse and keyboard and headset don't show up here, but the monitor does. And it wasn't doing that. And what I ended up doing was um, unhooking the graphics amplifier and essentially just uh, re, you know reconnecting it <clears throat> and that's what it pulled up so what I did was a fresh install uh, I you know <clears throat> excuse me uh, downloaded the drivers off Dell's website for my laptop and then went through and you know downloaded each individual driver for the keyboard mouse and monitor those were all the latest versions and I've noticed that they all typically have the same control panel or control center which is the new version, the 28 August version 2019. So uh, the software is glitchy, I ain't gonna lie, this software is real glitchy because what happens is the Microsoft uh, store tries to download it uh, and it downloaded it the first time and it would it just kept crashing. It would it would try to download the software for each individual item that you connect, and it, it just started crashing. And so I uninstalled it, cleared out the registry, reinstalled it using the Dell link uh, for the 20 August control center, and it installed that time, no issues. Started the program. It does the typical ask me. Um, you know, I have to put in a PIN number because it, it, it tries to download each individual software, I guess for the FX portion of it, for each of the um, connected uh, items. So, so here's the new one as you can see, let me zoom in here for you. So I have the keyboard, the mouse, the monitor, and the headset. And you can see, I'll click the, the monitor here. There it is. It's 34 inch 18 DW. 
and you can adjust the lighting if you want and make it part of your theme that will adjust not only the keyboard, the mouse, and the headset, but also your monitor. So uh, I know they said that this was removed, that you would only be able to adjust the monitor from the actual buttons, you know, right, well, you know, the buttons under here, which I thought was kind of a ridiculous thing. Why would you make this day and age make a monitor where you can only adjust the lighting via the the buzzle buttons the buttons um, before I was using this software which is gives me this little alien head icon right here uh, that's where I went and adjusted all my lights for everything that was how I did everything and that's when this stopped working and showing all my items here was when I basically started talking to you guys and spent the week troubleshooting all this but I didn't do anything special uh, this time. I just did a free, uh, you know, fresh reboot, reinstalled Windows. Uh, I didn't use the, you know, the one I'd already erased, um, you know, the little reboot from hard drive that they install on the laptop when you buy it. I did, you know, the fresh one from, uh, you know, the video that Dell provided to get, you know, get Windows 10 installed on your Alienware laptop. And then I put support assist, which, you know, gets me to my specific drivers for my laptop. Went through there and installed all the current ones for that. And then went through and installed all the drivers for the laptop, or the, um, the monitor, the keyboard, and mouse and headset. I did... Uh, do all that before I connected the amp, the graphics amplifier this time. Um, and then I installed the driver for the graphics amplifier, plugged everything in, and it didn't initially work. And that was when this software was like, it would, it would come up, ask me, you know, do the typical no hardware connected, and then would start to, you know, ask me to put my pin in so they could download it, and then it would do that. It generally comes off, or you know, the program would basically restart on its own, and then it just kept crashing. Uh, so that's when I just uninstalled it, cleaned the registry, reinstalled the the latest version. Um, I, like I said, I used the website version, not the Microsoft Store, and it worked. It did update automatically for some reason. It said there was an update for the one uh, um, that I had, which shouldn't have done that because it's the latest and it just downloaded it, the update from the Microsoft Store and everything's working so nothing crazy I wasn't expecting this to pop up over here you know where you can kind of sync it because this is where you this is the only place that I can adjust the keyboard the you know the mouse pad and the things in the sidebars on the laptop there's no there's no place in this Alien FX to do that it just shows you your proof I can't even say the word. Anyways, the, the attached items. Um, it would be nice if they just put another tab in here for your actual laptop. Because if you did that, then you could get away get get rid of this Alien FX standalone program by itself. I mean it has this built in for your graphics amplifier. It has the, you know, the what is that? The Alien uh, Adrenaline, the Tactic X, the Fusion, the Alien FX here. Um, it, still has this but the only place to actually do you know the graphics amplifier and stuff is and the lights on the laptop are with the old program the new program only lets you do uh, what is it the, the fusion stuff yeah the fusion stuff so you have fusion in the new control center so if they could just add the, the you know the tactical X and the, the adrenaline tab and get rid of this software and of course add the laptop to the FX you know that'd be nice but anyways so there you go it's about a 10 minute video a little long winded um, nothing special like I said so there you go